how to respond to a cyber attack. Implementing security controls to mitigate the risk of cyber attacks is only part of a best practice cyber security program. Criminal hackers need to exploit just one vulnerability to gain access to your systems, so you need to know how to respond when that happens. Because how you respond, and how quickly you respond, will have a significant impact on the financial, operational and reputational impact of any attack. This is why you need to implement cyber incident response plans as part of a defense in-depth approach to cyber security. This means you have the layered defenses you need to mitigate the risk of cyber attacks and data breaches. And if one of those defensive layers is breached, the others work to contain the damage that ensure you can return to normal operations as quickly and efficiently as possible. The fourth layer of IT governance's cyber defense in-depth framework is response. Cyber incident response management is a part of wider business continuity management. This helps your organization put plans in place to cover all types of disruption, from cybersecurity incidents and natural disasters to power outages and pandemics. Such plans are crucial when it comes to breaches of personal data because under the General Data Protection Regulation and Data Protection Act 2018, organizations must report serious security incidents to the data protection authorities within 72 hours of becoming aware of them. Meanwhile, Article 32 of the GDPR states that organizations must be capable of restoring the availability of and access to personal data in the event of a breach. Organizations in the critical national infrastructure sector also face these obligations under the NIS regulations, which require operators of essential services and digital service providers to adopt incident response measures to ensure their recovery following disruptive incidents. By implementing a cyber incident response management plan, you won't waste valuable time when disaster strikes. You'll also reduce the risk of future breaches and be better equipped to detect incidents earlier. There are several high-level incident response frameworks available, such as ISO 27035 and NIST SB861, but you can also create individual response plans for a wide range of different potential situations. Your approach will vary according to your organization and the risks it faces. Whatever form your process takes, it's essential to document the actions you take. This will help you complete any necessary reports, as well as provide a useful resource when you review your plans. If you want to learn more about responding to cyber attacks or defense in depth, IT Governance is here to help. Get in touch today to find out how we can help you secure your organization's success.